Hi, I'm Natalie Zamuda, and this is 3 Minute Ad Age. Pete Blackshaw is blown away by the number of brand managers who still have no coherent strategy for dealing with negative blog posts. A Nielsen executive, book author, and Ad Age columnist, Blackshaw is also something of a customer service guru. He was keynote speaker at the Children's Advertising Review Unit conference. But during the Q&A, audience members seemed more interested in tips about how to deal with negative blog posts than children's advertising issues. I do worry at times that we're in a little bit of a state of exuberance about engagement with um, bloggers and the like. Uh, you know, you really have to, number one, have the right message. You have to be perceived as absolutely sincere and credible. Um, and you have to be prepared for backlash. I mean, this is kind of very unpredictable um, space. And I generally, you know, I'm starting to err a little bit more on conservatism on this point. I would say before you knock on the door of a blogger, make sure you get some of the obvious stuff right. Like, I am blown away at how many companies, like, just don't even have search engines on their website. You know, what does a blogger do? They, get, they, they, need, they hear about something, they hear a rumor, they go to the company website, they look for the search engine. If they find the search engine, half the time it fires back blanks. And the question is, like, what are we doing to empower the influencers to get your side of the story out? Um, and so almost like think about what can you do in your own brand backyard before you barge down their door. You may find that they you know, naturally will, you know, find that information. I think, you know, Apple Computer doesn't have an official social media policy. I don't even think, they probably, you know, shy away from even saying they tweet, but they're really good at leveraging their website to get information out. I mean, they're brilliant at it. And if you look at, you know, how information flows, um, they'll just put up a great instructional video and the bloggers almost instinctively find it. If there's bad news about Apple, they're very good at using that channel to kind of get the news out. So I would say, you know, first, you know, shore up your home front. Number two, if you do engage, be incredibly respectful. Um, don't go in there with a, I see you're talking about apples, let me sell you oranges, which is very common. Um, and I, for our biggest clients, I always insist, solve the problems, don't advertise. And trust me, there's a lot of problems out there. People are confused about how to use products. They've got bad data that can be quickly clarified. You know, get that right. Figure out the defensive branding side first before you go too hard on the overt advertising. And that's it for this three-minute ad age. Thanks for being with us. I'm Natalie Zamuda at Advertising Age in New York.